Hello everybody, welcome to lesson 9 of the full Python beginner course. Today we're going to be learning how to read a TXT file. Now, I probably already gone over this last um last video. Um you can watch that one. Um So yeah, that's going to be uh my that it explains it there, but we're gonna have a little bit more detail this uh, lesson. So let's get started. So let's go here and let's create a full platform course lesson nine, just like this, just like I wrote. Remember to add a dot by at the end. Just remember that. Now you just want to open this and just save it. And if it's black like this, that means there's nothing in it. Like print, it will, I think, turn. Whoops, I think we did something. So I'll just, let's just make a new one. I'll just delete that. So let's just make it full, py full Python course lesson. Lesson nine, and then we're just gonna do dot pi. Okay, there we go. So now we just want to control s or control s, and let's just do like if you do like print high, it it should be like that. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So let's just save that, and um, we let's start by making a file. So to make a file, once again, just click that the plus, and we're gonna just do like um, we're just gonna do lesson nine dot txt. Txt means it's a text file. Um, so now let's write some words in it, like hello world let's just write them two lines just like that okay now let's open the file like this hello like um let's just make it as file equals so because our file name is going to be just file um we just make it make a variable so and then we're just going to do open which opens any file but we first have to type a file which is lesson 9.txt and then comma, and right here, we're going to read it. So we're going to put R, which stands for read. Okay, now we want to read it. So how do you only, how do you read the whole thing? So to read the whole thing, we're just going to do print. So let's just do A, E is going to be the whole thing. Or I could even do that whole thing equals to, equals to, um, file dot read that's it that so now if we print the whole thing and run this it's just gonna give us nothing because we have to save this so now if we run it it's gonna print hello world but we also have to close this file because it's still opened so to do that we're gonna go file dot close to close it boom so when we do that let's do that so now it's closed it's all fine and there we go hello world but what if we only want to read the first line which is hello then we're just gonna write file.read line that's gonna read only the first line so as you see it's just hello okay so now but what if we want to read the second line so let's name this whole let's just name this um line line one and the next one is gonna be line two line two just do the same thing because when we read the first one it's gonna read oh hey look there was no file that read lines anywhere before this that means I'm just gonna read the first line Okay, let's see. Another file that I read line. Okay. Oh, look, there's one one file that I read line at the end. 
that means I'm just going to read the next line, which is going to be, hello, world. So let's print line two here. There we go. Look at that. It's world. But what if we print line one? Hello. Nice. But what if we make another file that I'll read line? Let's check it out. Can you guess what will happen? Uh, read line. It will. Oh. Line three. It will just give us nothing. Because there literally is nothing after this. What if we do that the same with line four? It's going to still give us nothing because there's nothing after it, right? Yes. So now that we know that read line and read this. Now, what if we make like a file and we want to check if it's actually readable? So, to do that, let's delete everything that's in here. And let's make it a picture. So, let's just get a random picture. I'm going to use my um, logo. I'm just going to use my logo. There it is. So, let's just take this. And we are going to be um, taking this uh, just picture and let's just be, um, let's just make it save image as, and we're going to name it as um, my channel. Now let's just save it into um, documents. And let's go to, um, uh, you just can't find it. There it is. And we're just going to go to a full Python course right in here. Now let's save that here. And now let's go back into Visual Studio Code. Oh, yeah, you see me. Okay, so let's go to Visual Studio Code. And, um, there it is, mychannel.gpg. There it is. Look at that. And we are going to be saving. Whoopsies. I think I made it a bit too big. I don't know how to make it smaller. Eh. Oh, never mind. Okay. It doesn't really matter. I'm just opening back it again. There we go. Okay. So um, let's make it dot. Let's, let's just put it in. So my channel dot gpg <coughs> sorry <coughs> okay so we're just gonna do now we want to check if it's readable so to do that let's name um let's make a file is is read let's just do that and we're gonna do file dot dot is um uh, is readable just like that that's it so now let's print is read. There we go. Look at that, it's true. You're probably thinking, why is it true? Because you can actually read an image. You could. So if you want to actually read an image, you can go like this. You can put R, B, which makes it a binary image. Now you're probably wondering, how does this work? Like, how does this work? So basically, if we do that, and we print, and we print, so let's just say we read the whole image. So to do that, it's just file.read. And let's put that in, um, in print. So let's just delete this print, and do that. Boom, what is this? It is an image. Now you're probably wondering, 
What is it? Now each letter right like this counts as so let's just do read to make it easier. Boom. Now why whoopsies. Eh. Now why is it an error? Why is it an error? Eh, why is it frozen? Oh there we go. So there we go. Why is it an error? Why is there an error? Because it says that file dot read. Um, we can't read a um file. So let's just do read line. This also not gonna read it. So if let's print let's print just file dot is re is um uh, readable. Let's try one more time. True. Problem, why is it true? Now let's put right. False. Why is it false? Because we're writing in it. We're not reading it. Okay? So there's a lot of, like, we can go, like, WB, for example. That basically um, lets us write in um, a... So, for example, let's grab another image. So, let's go here and let's search up. Um, let's just put, like, I don't know. Let's just put, um, like, a cat. I don't know. There. It's the first thing that got in my mind. Okay, there he is. So, let's save this image as um, cat. Yeah, cat. Okay, whoops, not the terminal. Okay, so let's go to Visual Studio Code, and um, there it is. It's, it's a cat. Okay, so now let's read this cat. Now, a better way, by the way, to do this without writing file that closes, just with open, which is how you read it, which open, and we want to open the cat this time, dot gpg, and then we want to do um, we want to do RB because we're reading it, but a picture and as file, which is going to be our, um, so file as file. So file is going to be the variable. So if you just put your mouse like that, it should tell you like something. I don't know, but it does for some reason. Okay. So, um, let's read it and let's, uh, put like the reading is going to be in the variable so let's do a equals file dot read okay there we go so now we read the file so now let's open the my channel dot gpg and then we want to do wb because we're going to write in it as file and then we're just going to do a and then we're just going to do file dot write. First, let's check if it's writable. Let's check that first. Is it writable? It should say yes. There we go. True. That means we can write in it. Okay, so let's check. Print. So now let's do file dot write. And we want to write A. Just A. Okay, so now let's print that. Boom, look at that, no errors. And now let's look at the channel. Boom, look at that, it's now the cat. So now there's two cats. Because we wrote from this to actually this. So that's how you actually can change photos. Now probably wanna, I don't know, how do I change it back? Now, there's actually no such way to do this. But if we go up top right here, this whole thing should be the answer to that. <laughs> it's a lot. But, um, you actually can't do that. So, if we save this. So, now let's just try doing Control-Z, which will not work. Because you just switched it. So, now my channel is a cat. Whoa. Well, it's not actually a cat. I mean, I mean, seriously. 
It's it's not a cat. It's it's a lightning bolt. Okay. It's not a cat. Okay. It's just not a cat. Okay. 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 You're fine. Okay. Good. Good. It's a lightning bolt. Okay. 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 So that's gonna be it for how to read TXT files and GPG files. Um, that is gonna be it for this lesson. Um, so see you next lesson. Bye.